Uh, Lady Ada, it's time. They're hungry. It's time for new. Thanks. Thanks, John Park. Okay. All right, Lady Ada, what's new okay. this week? Uh, all right, so we've got exciting, lots of fun little products and a couple big ones this week. Okay, let's kick it off yep. with some toggle switches. So we have two mini toggle switches. Um, John Park actually requested them, and I was like, yeah, good point. We should probably get toggle switches. So we did. Um, that was a couple months ago, and now we have them. So these are, um, there's two kinds. Well, they're both toggles. So they're on, on, you know, um, single pole, double throw, but one of them has two switches in it, so it's double pole, double throw. And so these are the two, and they're, they're very small and compact, which I really like. And then they come, you know, they're basically meant to be panel mounted. They come with hex nuts and these um, lock washers and, and mounting nuts and stuff. They say six amp, 120 volt AC, but honestly, I wouldn't use them for more than like an amp or two and maybe like 24, 30 volts, because I just haven't been able to test them at such high voltages and I just don't guarantee them. So I'd say it's always good to, you know, um, if you're, if you're using something that is high voltage, get like pretty beefy switches. These are fairly small. Um, but yeah, so we got, they're basically the same um, from this direction. It's just from this direction. One of them has two switches and one of them has just one. And that's it. Toggle How switches. satisfying is the action? They're very satisfying. Excellent. Very okay. satisfying. All right. So toggle on switches. On. Yep. Um, we got these amazing back to school arrow kits. Yeah, more. this was yeah. a new product. It worked hard with Arrow to create a set of three back to school packs, and they come with a whole bunch of stuff. So let's go to the first one, which was yeah. the that one. So this one is the um, sort of Arduino getting started kit. So you get an Arduino Uno, and you get I can uh, show it on the overhead too. So you get like a genuine Arduino Uno that we even manufacture here in New York. Um, you also get an assembled MP3 shield. Collector's items. Yeah. Okay. This is an MP3 shield that's fully assembled, so you can have it um, act like a MIDI device, or you can have it play music. And it has a headphone jack, so you can make a little music player. We thought this was kind of the most fun standalone shield that was like, you know, you could get started and do some very interesting projects with it, especially since the Uno can do sensing and stuff. You get um, an SD card that is pre-flashed with MP3s of frequency, which is um, the uh, album that we play a lot of our background music effects with. You get a uh, USB cable standard type, and you get some powered speakers. So these are some speakers that you can plug into USB, so you can even make, um, you can make loud music with your Arduino kit. So this is um, the first kit that we came up with. So it's getting started with Arduino and it's like we wanted to do something that wasn't just like you get a bunch of parts and a breadboard. You actually, you know, snap it together and you make a project. All right, next up. Okay. So the next one is the Learn to Solder Pack. And this one I think we have a, a photo of all the things. Yeah, everything. So this is really like, this is a pretty neat kit because this is really everything you need to get a lot of experience with soldering and get a lot of extra parts as well. So you get a soldering iron, you get a really good one, um, plugs into the wall and you get a really nice solder stand to go with it. So like it won't roll around your desk. You also get a roll of solder, some really high quality solder that we sell. Um, and diagonal cutters, which is essential for cutting leads after you've placed them. And then you get three kits. You get um, a mini pub four, which is a precision vision RGB LED display, which is really fun. You get to build your own Arduino by soldering headers onto a Metro. So you even get an Arduino at the end of this one as well. And then you also build a Minty Boost, which is one of the most popular kit. So you can build your own double A phone or gadget or PSP or whatever charger. So this is sort of like everything you need to build three kits. And then of course you get really good high quality tools that will last you a lifetime. Okay. Okay, and, and then, then the up. third pack is an Internet of Things pack. This is the adv most advanced kit. And this one is um, neat and interesting if you're interested in doing Internet of Things and sensing and you want to explore our feather line. So this board, can you uh, go to the next one? There's so much stuff in it, I can't remember all of it. Okay, so you get um, a feather ESP8266, which is our most popular feather. It's an Arduino compatible. Um, Wi-Fi microcontroller, and then um, under me is an OLED feather wing. So it's a plug on top that has an OLED display and three buttons. You also get a fun group of sensors, such as um, a door switch sensor, it's like a magnetic sensor, a PIR sensor that can detect people as they move around. So you can like 
build an alarm system, a servo so you can have things move around, um, and a temperature and humidity sensor. That's the little white thing at the bottom there, and a micro USB cable as well. And then we also give you a parts pal, which comes with um, cables and headers and parts and LEDs and a breadboard. It's like a super fun pack of like all sorts of I think like 80 or 90 different components that are really handy that go well with all of this stuff and will um, let you kind of build any Internet of Things projects that you're interested in. We have tutorials as well for using Adafruit I.O. with this board. Okay, next up. You made this. Okay, so the unique product for this week from Adafruit is the Max 31856. This is a universal thermocouple amplifier and their most popular breakout I think is the Max 31855 and that is a K-type thermocouple amplifier so if you're doing anything with high temperature and you want to measure um, temperature at a remote location you use a thermocouple they can go up to like a thousand degrees C or more I mean they're extremely high temperature uh, probes like often using kilns um, uh, people who are doing beer brewing people who are doing um, coffee roasting like John Park who I'm sure you built your own coffee roaster uh, mm -hmm. if you're doing um, uh, all sorts of like science experiments or or glass work or, or whatever you want to do uh, t um, like barbecue smoking you, people use thermocouples very very common and um, so our k-type thermocouple amplifier only did k-type thermocouples and depending on the metals in the thermocouple they have different names like J T Q whatever and K is the most common, but it isn't the only one. Sometimes people have J type or N type or T type. And so this um, thermocouple amplifier can do K type, they can do all of them. So it's, it's a much more universal amplifier because it can handle, I think as far as I can tell, every thermocouple type there is. So it's, uh, it's a, just basically an upgrade for people who are like, oh, well, I want you to have like a, a J type amplifier. Well, this one does them all. And in this, the firmware, when you upload it to your Arduino or compatible microcontroller, you tell it what thermocouple you have attached. And it does all the amplification and, and noise cancellation and linearization, and it just pops you back a temperature in like 0.1 degrees Celsius um, uh, precision. And uh, it's just like a really great, easy to use amplifier. So I think this will be pretty popular for people who are using something not just a K-type thermocouple, but other types. But it can do K-type as well. So now you have a choice. OK. And big announcement, we are now, I think, the only US distributor, reseller, besides like Toys R Us, of the Cano kits. Yeah, so there's two Cano kits. OK, so can you skip forward? Yeah. We'll do the computer kit first. You want to do the computer? So the first kit is, uh, no, keep going. Yeah. That one. Here. Nope, next one. You want to get here? There you go. Right. Um, so the Cano kit is a DIY computer kit built on the Raspberry Pi 3, which is great because it has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And it's a little, you know, you get an enclosure and a speaker and a keyboard with a little tablet mouse on it, a touch a touchpad mouse. You get an HDMI cable, micro USB cable, and um, a booklet that takes you step by step through how to um, install the operating system and run it and you turn it on and you basically get kind of a simplified uh, desktop experience where you're kind of, this is like your first computer and you built it yourself. So I thought that was kind of neat. You get a bunch of stickers and this booklet and all these parts and, and it's a fun experience. And then um, in addition to that, there is also um, the screen that they made. So you can make your own TFT screen. It has an HDMI decoder and you build it. And it's kind of interesting too. So it's a nice 10 inch diagonal um, IPS display. And then on the back, you can kind of mount both the TFT driver on the left there, um, the control board up on the top, and then to the right is the Cano um, computer. But it's a Raspberry Pi, but you can still run Raspbian on it or Noobs if you want. But their operating system that they wrote, I think it kind of um, simplifies a lot of the process for people. And I think that's, that's what you're really getting here. It's not just the Pi, because you can just buy a Raspberry Pi and a keyboard and mouse. But what you're getting is this uh, really easy experience when you turn it on. And it's pretty much ready to go. And the SD card is pre-burned and everything. So I think it's, a, I think it's interesting. And yeah, I, I see people using it and really liking it. So I think, especially as a gift, this is pretty common. People get this as a gift for their kids. Yeah, if I remember, uh, my daughter and I played around with this at one point, mm -hmm. and it takes you on kind of a guided tour through learning different parts of the thing, so it almost uh, gamifies. Yeah, you have like a book. The, yep. I haven't, you know, we just got these today, so I haven't even put one together. Yeah. We have like we have one we put together just to make sure it worked, but we um we have looked at the booklet, but I think that I think the book is kind of also the strength of it. Mm -hmm. Like you get activities, 
And they have and like stickers. a form. And sp yeah, stickers. The most and adorable keyboard in the world. And the super cute keyboard does like, you know, it's like, hey, take it around. It's a wireless keyboard. And then online, I think they have activities and, and a full experience. And um, so this is something that you know you would you would build on, and I think they'll probably release more projects and, and software and updates. Okay, it's never been a better time to be a kid. Yeah, All right, and what's that? Is new products. Thank you, okay, Lady. Thank you. Zoom. Okay. <laughs>